Right, so for this program, we're going to start by creating a structure to create a separate link. And it's going to be struct, and we're going to call it a link. And it's going to represent one link. And each link is going to have integer key. And it's going to be a integer. You can change it to double or string. It can be anything. For this example, we're just going to use key. It can even be an object. And another important thing is each link needs to point to the next link. That's why it's a link list. And we do it by writing link pointer. And we're just going to call it next. And by default, we're going to set it to null PTR. All right, so the very first thing that we're going to implement is inserting a key into the link. And to do that, we're going to create a separate function called insert link. And we're going to pass an integer key to insert and the link itself. And we're going to pass the link by reference. So this is uh, the function prototype. And down here, we're going to do the function definition. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to check if the link list is empty. Well, to do that, what you, ha what you have to do, you just have to write link uh, equal equal null PTR. So if this is true, if this is true, that means the link list doesn't exist right now or a specific link. And we're going to make a new one. And we're going to do it this way. We're just going to do link equals new link. And then we need to initialize the key of the new link. Well, we do this way. Link pointer to key equals key. So it's going to take this key and put it inside of the link. And the next thing is link uh, by default, it's already in all PTR, but let's just do it for the sake of seeing it all the time. So this is going to execute if the link is empty. Well, what if it's not empty? Well, I'm going to provide you uh, animation. And if you look at the animation, you can see that uh, when you just create the very first link, that link is the head and the tail at the same time because it's the only thing that there is. As you keep adding, each link points to the next one, but they don't point to the link that is before them, so it's only one way. And as you add, keep adding more elements, the last element that you added is going to be the tail, but the head is going to stay constant. So after we check, and if the link is not empty, what we're going to do is, we're going to do else. That means when we're trying to insert a link, we need to insert it at the end. So since the current link is not empty, we need to go to the next one and check if it's empty. If it is, we're going to place it there. If it's not empty, we need to keep going until we reach the end of the link list. To do that, we're just going to call insert link again. And we need to pass key. And now it's important, you need to pass link arrow next because now you want to check if the next link is empty. Uh, if it's not, it's going to go to the next, next, and so on, until it reaches the end, and it's going to insert the link. So, to use that function, all we have to do, oh well, let's first create a link list. So, to do that, just do link, pointer, and let's call link list, and we're going to initialize to no PTR. Now, right now the link list is empty, and we're going to add a key to it. And you do it link list. Um, oh, actually, you do insert link, parentheses, and let's say I want to insert four into the link list. And let's insert around five or six numbers so we can test it out. So we're going to use different numbers. All right, let's build and run this. Okay, right now, no errors. 
So if we inserted numbers, the next function that we're going to implement is we're going to print the linked list. So we're going to create a function called print uh, linked list. And well, in this one, we're going to print all the links from the linked list. So we're just going to pass link pointer link and we're going to have to pass it by reference because we're not going to change the original linked list. All we're going to do is just print it. And to do that, we're going to do if the current link is not equal to null PTR. In that case, the link exists. That means I'm going to print the key of this link. And let's add some visual. Then I need to check if the next link exists. If it does, I want to print that link's key as well. And we're just going to do a recursive function again. Print link list. And we're, I'm going to pass the next node of the link list. That way it's going to keep going. And when it reaches the end, I'm just going to exit it. So let's test it out. We're going to do print linked list. And we're going to pass linked list. Let's see. So as you can see, we got 424, 5434, 6, 23, and 7. 7 is the last element. All right, so that works. The next function that we're going to implement is deleting a specific link from the link list. So if you look at the animation, you can see that when we delete a specific link, it's like uh, stitching two stripes together. You remove the center, then you connect the, the one that is before that one to the one that is after the one that we're trying to delete. So the previous one points to the next of the next. So let's do that. And it's going to be avoid delete link. And we're going to pass our link list. And we're going to pass it by reference. And let's say when you delete, you want to delete a specific key. So you're going to need to pass a key as well. So for example, if you want to delete 6, you're just going to do delete link 6 and the link list. All right. So deleting the link list, link from the link list is going to involve two separate parts to it. The very first part, we need to check if the very first link has the same key as the one we're looking for. That means we need to remove the very first link. If that's the case, we're going to create a temporary link. Um, let's call it a stitch. And what's going to happen, since we don't need the very first element now from the link list, we're going to take all the elements, but not the first one. So to do that, you just have to do link next. So this one's going to take all the remaining links from the link list besides the first one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to delete the link. So our original link is deleted. The next thing, you need to initialize link to stitch. And remember stitch had everything but the first one. So now link list uh, doesn't have the very first element since we want to remove it. Well, what's the case if the key that we're trying to remove is not the first one. In that case, we're going to create a different function. And it's going to be void, delete, link, and let's call it rest. And we're going to pass the same stuff as we did with the previous one. Oh yeah, and you need to pass by reference as well. Let's copy that. 
All right, so as you remember, in this function, we checked if the head of the link is the one that we're trying to delete. If it's not the case, we're going to call the other function. And it's called delete the rest. Delete link rest, yeah. And we're going to pass this. Uh, we're going to pass the key. And we're going to pass link arrow. Uh, well, just link. We're going to pass the whole thing. The very first thing that we're going to do in this function is we need to still check if the link is not empty. If it's not, the another thing that we are going to check is we need to check if the link that is after the current link, link is empty. If that's the case, um, if that's the case, that means the current link is the last link, the tail link. And if the key of the current link is the same as the key that we're trying to delete, then all we're going to do is just delete link. And that means it's just going to delete the last link from the link list. If it's not the case, we're going to check else. If if the key of the next link is equal to the key that we're looking for, well, that means there is there is a link, and there is a link in between, and there is another link after, and we're trying to delete the one in between. So we're gonna just point the one before the one that we're trying to delete to the next one. That way, I'm just going to emit that one. And we're going to do it this way. We're going to create a link. And we're just going to call it stitch again. And this one is going to equal to link next. Next. And the reason for that is we're going to take everything after the one that we're trying to delete and this is the one that we're trying to delete so it's gonna have all the information then you need to delete link next and the last thing is we're gonna do link next equals stitch so it's gonna just remove the middle link and stitch all everything together so if this is not true if the key of the next one is not the key that we're looking for we're just gonna call the this function again and it's uh, delete link rest we're gonna pass the key and we're gonna pass link next so this function is gonna go through all the links and if it finds it it's gonna remove that and it's gonna stitch the rest together so that was it for the deleting the link from the link list. The last function that we're going to implement is searching a specific key. So as you know, link list, each link points to the next one. So the search on link list is going to be linear. So if you have a huge amount of data going through each link list, uh, it's going to be time consuming and it's going to be of and it's going to be you just you have to go through each element to get to the next one so and it's not sorted as well so let's call a search key and we need to pass a key cell that we're looking for and we need to pass the link link list and we don't, we don't have to pass pass it by reference this time because we're just gonna search and let's actually uh, make it bull so if the search is successful, we're going to return true. If not, we're going to return false. So let's go to the bottom. And before I begin, let's test the delete link, uh, delete link rest. So to delete a specific link, we're going to call the delete link. And the key that we're trying to delete Let's say I want to delete 23. 
I'm going to do 23 and I'm going to pass linked list. Then we're going to print the linked list. And let's see uh, if it works. All right, as you can see, before we delete, we have 23. Then after, just 6 instead of pointing to 23, it points to 7. So let's try one more time with a different number. Instead of deleting 23, let's delete the very first element, which is 4. And as you can see, now instead of starting from 4, it starts from 24. So deleting works pretty well. Now let's go back. We're not going to delete anything. Now we're going to implement the search method. So search is pretty similar to printing. The very first thing is you need to check if your link is not null PTR. If it's not, you're going to do if. Um, if link key, if the key of the link is equal to the key that we're looking for, then we're just going to return true. Well, else, uh, we're going to return and we need to call the same function again search key and we're going to pass key and link arrow next and if none of those are true we're just going to return false and let's see if it if it works so we're going to do search key and let's try let's first try a number that doesn't exist in the linked list which is 10 so if it returns fall, false it's going to display 0 otherwise 1 let me add in line before so it displayed 0 which is good, 10 doesn't exist. Well, let's try now 6. So 6 is in the list, so it should display 1. And as you can see, display 1. So that function works as well. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post it on the comments section. Thank you very much for watching.